Hey everyone, today we're going to be increasing our simple and compound meter skills. We're going to achieve this by practicing in two ways. First, by adding bar lines into music that doesn't have any, like this example here, notice 4-4, four, four, but we have one giant looking measure. It's missing some bar lines to actually show where the measures start and end. And by completing incomplete measures. So we'll have to quickly count up all the measures that we see and see if any of them are missing some time and then fix that if it is. And there will always be at least one that's missing something. Okay, both of our activities that we're going to use to practice counting up our incomplete measures or our missing bar lines will require the same kind of thinking. We have to be able to quickly count up the total duration required by the time signature. So if the time signature here says 2-4, then every time I find two quarter notes, I need, that is what's required by the time signature, and that therefore I need two quarter notes in every measure. So when I have to create the measures, I need to then find every two quarter notes and place a bar line. So maybe I think that the first two quarter notes are there, I'm gonna place a bar line there, and now this chunk of music fits its time signature. So that's what we're gonna work on. And at the beginning here, it's very easy because it's easy to see two quarter notes are equal to a half note. Oh, no problem. But right away in this example, I get things like a dotted eighth note or a sixteenth note. And this is going to make it very hard to relate to two quarter notes. It makes it hard to think. So one of the first things that we want to do in general when we do an exercise like this is be able to shift gears in our mind. So one is, okay. I've got two quarter notes per measure, right? That's exactly what the time signature says. So that's a great place to start. But usually you want to be able to also imagine the divisions of the meter, right? So or the divisions of the beat. So in this case, the beat is two quarter notes per measure. The first division would be eighth notes, right? One faster durational symbol than a quarter note is eighth notes. So if I turn those quarter notes into eighth notes, I get four eighths. And let's just go one level farther. If I have sixteenth notes, I also get eight sixteenth notes per measure. So since our example is using lots of sixteenth notes, and at least in this section, it's definitely using some sixteenth notes, what I want to do is shift gears and think the fastest thing. So if it's difficult, you want to choose the fastest or shortest, right, duration in the example, right? So the fastest thing I'm seeing right now is sixteenths. So I'm going to think sixteenths in order to count up my measures, which means eight sixteenths for now, right? I'm going to think eight sixteenths, probably through the whole rest of this example. So let's count eight sixteenths. Remember, eight sixteenths is exactly the same thing as four eighth notes, and the same thing as two quarter notes. So each of these represent complete measures, and just a different way to represent that amount of time. I can think two quarter notes, I can think four eighths, I can think eight sixteenths. So I'm going to think sixteenths. So a quarter note, and I'm going to just rewrite this first rhythm so that it's really clear. What I'm doing right now is because I'm seeing lots of 16th note rhythms. I'm going to think the 16th notes so that it's apples to apples rather than apples to oranges, right? I don't want to have to always compare eighth notes to a dotted eighth note. That would be very difficult. And maybe 16th notes, when there's only two of them, is hard to relate to a quarter note. But thinking eight sixteenths per measure is very easy. So a quarter note is four sixteenths. And a dotted eighth, we always remember when we see a dot, we always say three, and then the next faster thing. So an eighth note, the next faster thing is a sixteenth note, and I always say three when I see a dot. So three. Three sixteenths in a dotted eighth. And then I have one actual sixteenth right here. Does that add up to eight? Yes, it does. And therefore, I know I have a complete measure right here. So that means quarter note, dotted eighth, sixteenth. And there we go. Make sure when you do these, you work from left to right. Don't start in the middle because you may end up with extra rhythm on the edges, right? So either from right to left or left to right, but you need to be consistent as you count up. Otherwise, you may end up 
with complete measures in the middle, but that don't work out with what's on the left. And all these examples will always start on beat one. So let's do it again. Four sixteenths, I don't even have to write ones on those, right? For one, two, three, four. And then a quarter note is another four. So that's another eight sixteenths. I guess I have another bar line here. And then just for fun, let's check and make sure our last rhythm works out. An eighth note is two sixteenths. Two sixteenths are two sixteenths. An eighth note again is two sixteenths. And then we have two more here. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sixteenths. It works out. Let's do it again. So I'm seeing lots of sixteenths. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to count sixteenths again. But in three, four, it's not eight sixteenths per measure, is it? And it is now three, four. So let's have a look and see if we can think all our different levels of three, four division. And we'll start with the beat. So three quarter notes per measure is the same thing as six eighth notes per measure, which is also the same thing as 12 sixteenths per measure. And I'm seeing lots of sixteenths in the example. So what am I going to do? Choose the fastest or shortest duration in the example, which happens to be sixteenths, but it's not eight anymore. It's 12 sixteenths per measure now. So now I'm going to count up 12 each time. So it's going to start off pretty easy. Four sixteenths and a quarter. Two sixteenths and an eighth and two sixteenths and an eighth. So four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I just have sixteenths, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I got to twelve sixteenths. I'm set. Now, hopefully, we remember from our basic duration lessons that we practiced, presumably, changing the duration or equating durations uh, to other durations. So hopefully, you're able to go, okay, a half note is eight sixteenths, a dotted half note is is twelve sixteenths. Hopefully, you can do that kind of thing, but let's do it real quick. So what do we do whenever we see a half note with a dot, any note with a dot? We go three of the next faster thing, which if we shift gears, we see right away is three quarter notes. That's exactly what we need. But let's go all the way to 16th since that's what we're thinking. So three quarter notes, dotted half note is the same thing as three quarter notes, is the same thing as six eighth notes, is the same thing as all 12 of our 16ths. Now, hopefully you did those exercises where it said, you know, how many sixteenths are in a dotted half? And if this stuff is feeling rusty, it'd be a good idea to go check those duration lessons and exercises. Dotted half note is a whole measure, 12 sixteenths. And then let's check our last chunk and see if that's a complete measure. So maybe now's the time to shift gears and just think eighth notes, because that's the fastest thing I'm seeing right now. So the fastest duration I'm seeing in the example at this moment is eight, is eighths. And I'm seeing how many do I need? I need six, right? Six eighths in a three, four measure. So I need six eighths. So let's see if we get six eighths here. One, two, three, four, and a quarter note is two more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm good. Okay, that's just 4-4. Four, four. Let's try this one. So remember, common time, C, the C there, is also just 4-4. Four, four. So I'll write 4-4 four, four here just so it's really, really clear. But in your mind, as soon as you see the C, you should think 4-4. Four, four. And if you see a C with a slash through it, cut time, that is, is really 2-2. Two, two. Right, it's really 2-2. Two, two. So I'm going to just put 4-4 four, four here just so it's really clear. And... In 4-4, four, four, the meter says I need four quarter notes to fill a measure, which is also eight eighth notes, which is also 16 sixteenth notes. So what am I seeing at the beginning? Right away, I'm seeing a fair amount of sixteenths. I think I'm going to count sixteenths here. So I'm going to choose my fastest thing I'm seeing in the example. And in this case, it's going to be 16 sixteenths. Okay. Off we go. So I'm going to count up 16. So dotted quarter is 6 sixteenths, right? So dotted quarter turns into three eighth notes, right? We say, as soon as we see a dot, we say three and go down one level, which is to eight, right? So 
that's 3 eighths. And 3 eighths as sixteenths are 6, right? So 2 sixteenths per eighth note makes a total of 6 sixteenths in a dotted quarter. So again, hopefully you practice that a lot with those previous duration exercises. So, so far, we've got 6. An eighth note is 2 sixteenths, so that's 7 eighths. A quarter note is 4 sixteenths, so 6, 7 eighths. And then 4 more is 12. And you know what? Just because this is a lot of counting, I'm going to write this one out just so we can see it really, really clearly. And we don't get lost in all those sixteenths. And you can see where it is now because the notation program is automatically putting the bar lines in the right place. But since we're counting sixteenths, we need to get to 16. And I've got 6 and 2 and 4. And then dotted eighth is 3. And 1 16th is 1 16th. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have my first measure. And let's see if this remaining stuff also adds up to 16. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A quarter note is 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. An eighth note is 2. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're good. 2 sixteenths, 16 sixteenths here, 16 sixteenths here, which are really four quarter notes per measure. Okay, let's do one more. Last one, and then we're going to go to compound meter. So time signature is now one that is less common, right? Four, two. Okay, I've got my four, two prepped over here. So 4-2 says that in every measure I should have four half notes. And again, we're all, I'm always going to go down about two levels. So to go to quarter notes would be eight. And to go to eighth notes would be 16. And that's my total three separate divisions that will help me count. So, so far I'm only seeing quarter notes here as the fastest thing. So in this case, I'm going to choose the fastest duration I'm seeing in the example, which is, in this case, quarters. And for a full measure of quarters in 4-2, I need 8. So 8 quarters per measure in 4-2. So 1-2. A half note is 2 as well, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Those are all quarter notes themselves. And then a dotted half, we always say three, and then the next thing down, which is quarters. So three quarter notes for this guy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'm done. And then two quarters, two quarters, that makes four. And a whole note also has four quarters, right? So that last measure works out. And we're good. Oh, I bet we can do this one quickly. Three, four, right? Three quarter notes. One, two, three quarter notes. One, two, three quarter notes. Two quarter notes and one and it works. All right. So now let's go over and do this exact same thing, but with compound meter. So when we do this with six, eight, we are going to do the same thing, but we're going to start since six, eight. Remember, compound meters always say the numbers that you see are always the division. So I'm actually gonna start in the middle of my three things. So I'm gonna go six eighths. Now I can now find my beats, which are gonna be dotted quarters. And I'm gonna do sixteenths just in case. So if I have a six eight measure, I can think of it as six eighths, which is generally gonna serve me well, but I might need to think of it as 12 sixteenths, or I might need to think of uh, the, the beats, right? Dotted quarter beats. So the fastest stuff I'm seeing in the example is eighth notes. So I'm just going to count six eighth notes per measure. So I'm going to go like this and go, okay, what my meter says is that I need six eighths per measure. Why does that word look so funny right now? <laughs> Hopefully that's spelled right. G H T H, right? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Counting eighth notes. I need six per measure. I see two for a quarter note. 
I see an eighth note. So that's a third. And let's just do the same exact thing. There's a rest. There's a couple of notes. I need a quarter note. Okay, so I'm thinking eighths. That means I have two for a quarter note. One eighth note is one eighth note. And a dotted quarter is three of the next faster thing. Eighth note. So that adds up to six. I have a measure. We'll do it again here. One, one, one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Two eighth notes and a quarter. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm done. In a way, compound meter is almost easier than simple meter for this stuff. So fastest thing I'm seeing, again, it's the same time signature, 6, 8. And I'm seeing lots of eighth notes in my example. So that's what I'm going to count. That's the fastest thing I see. So I'm just going to do it again. Real nice at the beginning because it's just six eighth notes right in a row. There's my bar line. Then I see three eighth notes. And then a dotted quarter is also worth three eighth notes. So one, two, three, and then four, five, six. Two eighths and a quarter plus one is three, four, five, six, and I'm done. There we go. Okay, so one more. We got a new meter now. So this is a good time to do one more example. So what do I do? I'm going to go to the division area and write nine fours nine quarter notes and I'm going to divide that as well into eighth notes just in case I'm not seeing it in the example but I'm doing it anyway just for safety so a lot of eighth notes in a nine four measure and then my beats look like dotted halves just in case I need that okay so most likely I'm just going to count nine quarters and that is indeed the fastest thing that I'm seeing here so here we go oh and actually looking at the beats is actually very easy at this beginning one because it's just three beats, but I'm still going to go with counting quarter notes. So what am I going to need? The fastest or shortest thing in this case is quarter notes. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quarter notes per measure. So three quarter notes in a dotted half. So three, six, nine. Two quarters plus one is three plus another three is six, seven, eight, nine. Dotted whole. So let's just work that one out real quick. A dotted whole is the same thing as, what do we do always? We go three because we see a dot and the next faster thing, which is three halves. One, two, three, four, five. So six of my quarters are taken. Three halves make six quarters. And that means I have six, and then seven, eight, nine, and it works. Oops, until I accidentally put a bar line there. Last one, nine, eight. Let's do another, and then we'll do some complete the measure and we'll be done. All right, time is nine, eight. I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna do the same thing I always do. I'm gonna do some divisions here like this, the meter says. Just in case, I'm going to write my beats, just in case it's going to be helpful to me. And I'm also going to do sixteenths. So I now have, again, the beat plus two divisions, just like I did with simple meter. It's just that 9-8 describes a division, not the beat. So typically, I'm just going to count what the meter says for compound meter especially, which is nine eighth notes per measure. So I'm just going to do that again. 9 eighths per measure. So I need 9 eighths per measure, and that's the fastest thing I'm seeing over here. So 3 eighths in a dotted quarter, and then 3 more and 3 more, that makes 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I'm done. All right, let's move on to another way to practice this, and that is we want to fix broken measures. We are going to have incomplete measures. And we have to do exactly the same concept, only that we have to be able to fill in what's missing. So we're going to count up a full measure, see which one of these is missing any time. And then if it is missing time, I have to pick one note that will fill the missing time. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So here I go. I'm going to do the same thing. It says I need two quarters per measure, which means four eighths, which means eight sixteenths. Now I'm seeing lots of 16, so that's what I'm going to count. So if I look, there will only be one incomplete. 
The other will be kind of a dud, right? It'll be just there to distract you. So let's check this one because I happen to know it's the dud, but we'll, we'll let's see and make sure. So I'm going to check this one because it already looks kind of good to my eye. And I see a gap here. So this is probably going to be our problem measure, right? But let's just check and make sure the second measure is, is our good one. So I have a quarter note. I'm actually going to go left to right still. So eighth note is two sixteenths. I need eight per measure, right? I need eight sixteenths at the moment. Eight sixteenths. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm good in that measure. Let's check this one. So same deal. I want to count up to eight and then see if I'm missing anything. One, two, sixteenths, right? And then a dotted eighth is the same as three sixteenths and then a sixteenth. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six, but I need eight. So what one note here is worth two sixteenths, right? That's what's missing. I have six. I need eight. So two more sixteenths is what I need. Well, one sixteenth isn't going to do it, but oh, an eighth note's worth two sixteenths. That will fill in this measure. Let me just write this one out just so you see it. And we counted and realized, oh wait, I'm missing two sixteenths, but I'm required to pick one note worth that. So an eighth note will get me two sixteenths and that will complete the measure. Oh, another two four, nice and easy. Now I'm only seeing eighth notes here, so I'm only gonna count eighth notes because I wanna keep it as simple as possible. I don't wanna count eight sixteenths if I'm only seeing eighth notes. So I need four eighth notes eighths per measure. So I see four really clearly here, so this measure's fine. How many eighths here? Only two. So I need two more eighths in this measure. It's missing two of its four eighths. So what note is worth two eighths? Well, another quarter note. And done. Oh, clearly don't have to check this one. Let's do it anyway. I see eighth notes, I need four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that measure is good. And I have a completely empty measure. So what will fill one entire measure of two quarter notes? Well, two quarter notes is the same thing as one half note. So a half note will fill the measure. A lot of two four here. Let's do one more. This one's a pretty good one anyway. So what am I going to need to do this one? Let's check second measure because I see the gap, but I'm just going to check in case. So I'm going to go back to counting sixteenths here. So two sixteenths in an eighth, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight for, for another eighth. So that measure is good. Over here, I'm going to do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. I have five out of eight sixteenths. So that means I need something worth three sixteenths. What kind of note is always worth three? Well, some kind of dotted note. Dotted notes are always worth three things. So is a dotted eighth worth three sixteenths? Yes, it is, right? Dotted eighth is three sixteenths. Dot, you say three, next faster rhythm is sixteenths, so three sixteenths in a dotted eighth. So that's what I'm going to click. Oh my gosh, it's so much two four. So let's count eighths. One, two, three, four. That one's fine. This one has one eighth. I need three more eighths. So must be a dotted note then if it's worth three. So three missing eighth notes. How do I get three eighth notes? Well, a dotted quarter is three eighth notes. Finally, a new meter. Let's do a 4-2. Okay, same old thing. Four half notes per measure is what 4-2 says. And I'm going to convert it down. I'm going to divide it down once and uh, even twice. Oops, but not 16, so I just need eighth notes. So half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes is all I really need to think. So what do I see here? I see a lot of quarter notes. That's the fastest thing I see. So I'm going to think in this case, Quarter notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh, that's short, but I'm gonna count this one anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that one's good. And this one was seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of eight quarter notes. So I'm missing one. I need a quarter note. All right, good. We got another different meter, which is making me happy. 
three half notes per measure, three, two, right? Three halves. And then that means six quarter notes in a measure. And if I'm doing eighth notes, it will be 12. Cool, so what do I see a lot of? Well, I see quarters. I see a dotted note that I'm gonna to need to think of as quarters anyway. I'm going with quarters. So I need to count up six quarters per measure. So here, the first measure, I'm seeing three, four, five, six quarters. Okay, this one's good. And then I see two half notes. So each half note is two quarters. So one, two, three, four. I have four, but I need six quarters, right? I need six quarters per measure here. Six quarters per measure in a three, two meter. So I've got four out of six. How am I gonna get two more? Well, I already know these halves are worth two each. So I just need two more, right? Another half. Nice, let's do a three, four, and then we'll try some compound, and then we will be set. All right, here's a three, four. So it says I need, the meter itself says I need three quarters per measure and six eighths per measure. And I'm not seeing any sixteenths, so I'm not even gonna bother. So I know I need to count six eighths per measure here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, that measure is good. I see three here, that means I need three more. So three out of six. So how do I get three eighth notes? I must use a dotted note. A dotted quarter is worth three eighth notes. And we're done. Let's try some compound meter. And this is a nice one to start with because it's a whole measure. Here I go. I'm always going to go to the division area first, that second measure. And just in case, I'm always going to do this too. Although I don't think we're going to need it. Good. So what one note is worth six eighth notes? Well, let's check. So six is a multiple of three, so it's gonna be one of these dotted notes. Well, a dotted quarter is three eighth notes, so a dotted half should be double that, right? Or I can think a dotted half is three quarters, right? Which is what we always say, three of the next faster thing. So that's three quarters, and three quarters are two eighth notes each. Oh, I've got my six eighth notes. That's a full measure there. Okay, 916, that's new. And write 9 sixteenths. Just in case, I'm gonna write 30 seconds, but I'm probably not gonna need them. And then I need eight notes maybe for my beats, just in case that makes life easier. But most likely we're just gonna be counting 9 sixteenths. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do because as soon as I see a dotted eighth, I know I need to divide it into sixteenths in my head anyway. So here we go. I, how many sixteenths in a dotted quarter? Six. How many sixteenths in a dotted eighth? Three. That makes nine. I'm good. Okay. And now I have six again. And wait a minute, I'm missing the same thing. I'm missing three. So I need, I have six out of my nine sixteenths. Nine sixteenths and I have six. So I need three sixteenths. It's always going to be a dotted note if I need three. All right. And a dotted eighth turns into three sixteenths. Okay, 12 eight. Let's do that one. And I'm gonna put all 12 of my eighths. I can see right away, I don't even need the sixteenths, and I maybe don't even need the eighths, but let's just do it just in case. But I'm also gonna write my beats. So I know that 12 eight is also four quarter note size beats. And actually, that's all I see is dotted quarters. So in this case, I am just gonna use the beats. I see four beats here four dotted quarters. I only see three here, so I need one more. Done, okay, this one's a little harder, 12 eight, and I'm getting the 16ths. So now I'm gonna write out my 16ths. I need a lot of 16ths in a measure, but I'm going for it. So, the other option would be, is here's my 16ths. It might make sense to just think every two 16ths is an eighth, and just think, oh, this is really three eighths. But let's just go with having to use all those. So this is a single measure. How much is missing? So I have two sixteenths. How many sixteenths do I need in the end? 24. So much counting. 24 sixteenths. Good times. Here we go. One to, let's just write it out <laughs> so we can write it down. So if we count, let's just do it. So we know that an eighth note has two sixteenths. An eighth note has two sixteenths. Here are six, so I'm just gonna write a six there. Here are six more. Here are six more. So 12, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22. I have 22 sixteenths here, and I need 24. So I'm short by 2 sixteenths, which means I need exactly what's being placed in by the music notation program, one eighth note for 2 sixteenths. Again, the other way to do it is just think the eighth notes, 12 eighths, and just remember that every 2 sixteenths is one eighth note, and do that quick conversion. So then I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and that would leave me 1 8 out of 12. Let's do two more and we'll call it. Ready? Probably safe just counting these, but just in case, let's put in my beats too. So three dotted eighth note beats. So let's count our sixteenths. So this one looks like it's got its gap, so I'm just going to check this one real quick. Six sixteenths and three, that makes nine, so I'm good. And this one, three sixteenths, I'm missing six, so I need a dotted quarter. Last one, six eight. I don't have anything faster than an eighth note here, so I'm just sticking with either two dotted quarter note uh, for the beats and then six eighth notes. So that's six eighth notes. I'm done for that measure. It's good. And then one, two, three. So I have three out of six eighth notes in the left side. So I just need one note worth three eighth notes. A dotted quarter is worth three eighth notes. Okay, so hopefully that is all helpful and it will make doing the little bit of math necessary to think all these different durations a little bit easier. So good luck, have fun, and uh, have a great day.